Hey, my name is Shiha. Welcome to IT Samurai Teach. In today's video, I'll show you how to format an SD card and copy your running Raspbian OS state into your Raspberry Pi file. This is a great way to create a backup in case something happens to your NVMe boot drive. So you can see in here, this is my Raspberry Pi 5. I am booting from NVMe drive. You can see in here. So I have an NVMe drive and Raspbian uh, OS, it's installed and it's running with the NVMe drive. Now I want to show you that just in case something happened to your NVMe drive, so you need to have a, a backup plan, okay? So just in case if something happened to NVMe drive, you can boot from the SD card. Oh, sorry, where's the SD card? Yes, here's the SD card. So you can boot from this one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to it's already configured the NVM drive. It's booting from the NVM drive I'm going to put the SD card inside and I'm going to boot it up now the thing is uh, This setup Either way if I can take this one out SD card it will boot from the NVM drive Or if I take this one out it will boot from the SD card so either way if something happens it will uh, start from the uh, one of the uh, SD card or NVMe boot drive. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the state, copy the states to SD card. I mean you can continuously backup uh, state uh, automatically just in case is the NVMe boot drive is uh, corrupted or something happened. You have a backup that this. SD card can boot your Raspberry Pi OS, Raspbian OS with all your settings and stuff. So let's jump in. First insert your SD card into the Raspberry Pi SD card slot, then open the terminal to check the device. I'm going to put it here, make it bigger so you can see it. Uh, me grab this actually I want to make it bigger so zoom in control shift okay. control shift and plus sign nice put it like this okay let's jump in now first of all uh, what I'm going to type is I'm going to type ls blk now uh, ls blk list all connected block devices such as hard drive sd cards and usb drives this help us identify sd card in your system so i can see a bunch of information here let's go one by one now the first step is to check which storage device is being used to boot my Raspberry Pi 5 system. We don't want to accidentally format our running OS. So let's identify the device first. Now, when you type LSBLK, this will list all storage devices attached to the system, Raspberry Pi 5 system. Here you can see the main boot device, which is in my case the nvme drive and the sd card i have insert this is the sd card i have insert you can see uh, the size is 119.1 close to 120 and my nvme drive 238 uh, gb right so what we're going to do is uh, because of this uh, because I confirmed that my NVMe drive is my boot device but let's confirm so how are you going to confirm now now we need to confirm that uh, the NVMe drive is indeed our boot drive uh, let's check the mounted partition to ensure that we are not formatting the wrong device so I'm going to type df dash oh sorry dash h Okay, uh, oh, sorry, I did type wrong. DF dash H. Nice. 
Now, when you type df uh, space dash h, you clearly can see which one is the boot device. This is the boot device, NVMe. This is the boot device, not the, your SD card. This is the uh, boot device. So, we have a clear picture and confirm. Now let's go understand what this chart is. So it's good to understand, right? So first one is file file system. File system, this column, it's the file system or partitions under that, okay? So uh, these can be devices like hard drives or virtual systems created by the operating system. Now next is size. This shows the total size of each file system or partitions. Next, you can see use the amount of space that is already in use available available. So of the available is of free space that can still be used and use percentage. This column shows how much of the file system space is currently used as a percentage. It's a good one. You can, you know, when you do a troubleshooting and mounted on this is where the file system is mounted in your directory structure a mount point is where you access the content of the partition now let's break down the information uh, here in the output the first one i'm going to talk about the udev so this is a special file system that provides access to device files it has 1.9 gig of space all of which is available zero percent usage and it's mounted on slash dev next one i'm talking about slash dev nvm so uh this is your main this is your main nvme ssd partition which is 235 gig in size and 4.8 uh, 9 use and 280G uh, gig available meaning it's only 3% full this partition mounted on the root directory which is where the entire file system starts so now you know if you see like this that's the entire root file system directory and it's going to start now next one I'm going to show you the Dave NVMe P1 you can see the size also you can get a clear picture the partition size is 510 megabyte its size and 76 megabyte use and 435 megabytes available it has 15 percent use and mounted on boot firmware we have the boot related files and firmware stored now you can get a clear picture where is the port firmware is stored. The other entries like TMPFS and stuff. So these represent the temporary file system like TMPFS used by the system for temporary data storage. Okay. So in summary, DH dash D space dash H output shows how much disk space is used and available on your system it's essential tool for monitoring your storage especially when you want to check how full your disks are or if you need to clean up space right so for example we can see that most of your main nvme uh, partition has a lot of free space 280 gig available out of 235 gigabytes meaning your system has plenty of room for storing more data uh, or applications that's also i give you like a bonus thing that you can get a clear picture on this uh, diagram now that we confirm the boot device is the nvme we can safely format the sd card first let's unmount the sd card partition so we can format it i'm going to go back l s p l k um, so in here too, you can find out if it's mount or uh, mount or not. So we don't need to actually unmount because it's not mount. You can see the mount points. Only the uh, bootable or boot drive is mount. Now, anyways, let's go. If you 
if you just want to confirm right so let's go ahead and try to unmount you're going to type sudo u mount uh, actually u mount okay dev uh, i'm going to type this one mmc plk 0 p1 let's see what's got so it's not mount. you can see uh, we use the u mount but it says not mounted that's good point so let's go ahead and do the other one two okay it's also not mounted so that's cool because just in case you know if you want to you know make sure that uh, uh, it's not mounted uh, so you can actually type this just in case if it's mounted you just type these commands to unmount how are you going to format a SD card on the Raspberry Pi system? If you log into a Raspberry Pi 5 or any system, Raspberry Pi system, just enter, put your SD card, uh, which I show you uh, previously, and find out the mounting points, and just unmount, and type this. sudo, sudo mkfs.ext4, uh, and dev, mmc blk zero now we got a message i found a dos partition table uh proceed anyway i'm going to type yes now it's going to format and uh, just give me a second yes right in server file system count information done so we format our SD card under Raspberry Pi 5. Okay. Now I'm going to type lsplk to see. Okay, nice. We can see uh, it's formatted, ready to go. All the mount point is gone. Everything good. Now let's go ahead and copy our uh, Raspberry Pi OS state from nvm to sd card so we're going to back up our entire running operating system with all the settings and stuff to uh, our sd card so just in case if something this partition have any kind of issues it's not booting up don't just hold your head oh i lost or something you can boot from the sd card so it will keep as a backup it's going to boot from your nvm drive and you can switch and you can save your files i mean it's good to have a create a script to back if you're doing a lot of work always create a script and you know back up end of the day or a couple of times to the sd card so you are safe now i'm going to open the sd card copier now you go to the start menu stuff uh, and got the accessories you can see in here sd card copier click that okay, let it go now from here copy from device now copy from device is my 256 gb nvm drive that's my main uh, drive have all the files even all this information now i'm going to copy to my sd card that's awesome so uh, what i'm going to do here is uh, I choose the NVM drive as the source and I use my SD card as the destination and I'm going to keep it as default I'm going to hit that start button and it says this will erase all the content on the device are you sure hit yes now it's going to copy all uh, your bootable information os everything like a mirroring mirroring all these files all your settings all whatever the files you have everything going to copy to your sd card remember that now my file is 236 uh, gb uh, actually close to 260 gb nvm drive so if you have full of 250 gb you can see uh, I cannot copy to my SD card because my SD card is 120 GB. So in that case, just make sure that if you have a lot of files, 
make sure you comp uh, get the same amount of size of your SD card. Uh, I I have an NVM drive at one fifth at one sixty GB, but I don't have that much file, so it's maybe twenty GB, not twenty, but at least maybe ten GB in my NVM drive uh, because I don't have that much file, so that's why I'm easy copy to your uh, SD card. Um, so if you have more, just go with the size of the SD card, make sure you have that size and put it back to your uh, Raspberry Pi system and that's it. Now, um, so once you had that, um, you need to configure your uh, Raspberry Pi configuration which you want to boot. I mean, this is not that video NVM drive to uh, bootable. Okay, I have created more videos for how you uh, boot from your NVM drive so I will put those links to my video description so you need to check those one out because this video is to you know back up your NVM uh, OS to SD card so then if something goes wrong with the NVM you can boot from your SD card so once the copy uh, process is complete make sure to safely eject the SD card okay uh, or uh, you can keep it it depend on your system it will going to start so I will give you like a test just keep that and reboot the OS reboot the Raspberry Pi 5 system and see which one is booted now if it's booted from SD card you can keep that now you know you have SD card is booting up so next time when you do some configuration, copy that. I mean, you, you need to go the way I show you. Copy, go back and copy the SD card to the NVM. So that's you back up the SD card one. I mean, if you want to use the NVM, you just go back and uh, change the settings on Raspberry Pi configuration to boot which one. But just in case, if you don't know how to do it, just reboot and see which one is booted up. Uh, and then you copy that SD files to the NVA, right? So now you have back and forth, back and forth, copying both side and uh, but up to date your system. That's all for this video and thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you.